was everybody crypto muscle pump it on and pump crypto this is what it's all about fake lasers jamaican arrays and everything else that i talk about here real news i mean opportunities all kinds of good stuff here on the crypto muscle network and also on the crypto muscle legacy channels that's what we got going on here all right, pump an iron, pump crypto. And uh, you guys thought that because Pulse Chain launched that my videos of just slamming Pulse Chain be over. No, man. It's still going and flowing. Because it's not what it's, what it's really cracked up to be, right? <laughs> so, subscribe to everything I got. I got podcast channels. I also have a Telegram group. Or we chat it up, everything. You know, it's not none of that bullshit groups where, oh, you must stay positive, guys. You can't say anything negative. None of that shit. All right? You know, there's no holds barred. Uh, that's what we do. So with that, let's talk about this stuff here, right? So yeah, you know, Pulse Chain launched, all right? whoop de doo Plus, you know, I've already made that statement a couple weeks ago when it launched that, hey, you know what? You know I, I, you know, as humble as I am, I did make an apology, but <laughs> it's such a disappointment though, man. That's the thing. I've been disappointed ever since it's been launched just by watching everything that's been going on. And so it's just crazy how that is. And so, I mean, where do I begin here today? I'm just looking at everything. I was like, wow, you know, so let's see here. Let's take a look, take a look, take a look here. All right. Hex. Man, it's down 11% in the past day, 11.6. And look at that. Since last week, you know, it was at three cents. And now it's down to one penny. All right. Uh, look at this. It must infuriate all the low IQ hex shields that their Ponzi coin has dumped 37% in a day. I mean, look at that. 60% in a week. I've been saying it since the get-go that what's the use of Hex anymore, all right? Because there's no quote-unquote utility. And so, I mean, it, it, this is why it's dumping because, especially with Pulse Channel now, what's the use of Hex even more? There's not none, zero whatsoever. And so that's why Hex is getting the shit dumped all over them, right? And, uh, I mean, that's just what's happening here. And it's true, right? Look at this. Hex, I really warn you that the last time about Richard, some very nasty tales will be published. And this project will be, is nothing but a scam. People will, will have many regrets here and many who will lose a lot of money. I hope you have not invested in this scam with most of your crypto investments. Uh, let's see. All right, so nasty details to be published. All right, so this guy saying it's pumping. This is more uh, pumping stuff here, pumping dump stuff. 75% uh, loss in 30 days. Richard Hart really rugged this project. 80% <laughs> in a few days. Oh, man. Let me see that. Let's see what happened in the past month. Yeah, 75% in the past month. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, well, recent highs was what seven cents. Damn, down down to a penny, penny or less, right? Uh, it's coming, and uh, there's nothing really to to show for. I mean, like I said, hex is really have zero value. Now, there's really no point in having hex. Hex was a uh, almost like something to hold on to, right? You're waiting for pulse chain, right? And then you're holding on to this just for something, right? And then when it finally comes, okay, that's it, right? So uh, let's see here, we're gonna move on here. Pulse Chain. All right, so here's Pulse Chain, PLS. Um, is down, what, 5.9%. And, you know, people are still bullish about it, looks like. So, <laughs> more dump. Uh, let's see, it'll soon rocket, guys. PLS shitcoin, but yeah, a lot more positive still. 
Uh, RH scam coin. We, he needs fresh cash. True. Right? Because in order to pump this thing to 10,000 X like they think they this thing would with Hex, like Hex, you need a lot of fresh money, fresh buyers. And with, you know, two years of not doing anything and then all of a sudden you expect people to come in and be like forgiving and new people coming in believing in something that you know, waited two long years could have been longer if he didn't go back to the the ETH network and fork that and so um, yeah it's just there, there's no promise of any sort of new fresh money coming in you're going to need a lot more money, a lot of new people, a lot more money to stack upon the old cash in order to, to pump the price here. And realistically, will not happen. All right. And so let's see, past week, whoa, whoa. PLS down 42% in the past week. All right. So I know what you guys are going to say. The, the hexagons and the ones that are like on Richard's nuts, they're going to say, oh, well, you know, these are the ones, these are the ones with the weak hands. They're going to leave because, uh, you know, they just blah, 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 make up some justifiable excuse. That's not really a real excuse, but, well, actually it is a real excuse uh, because people don't give a shit. You know, people don't, you, you know, the thing about it is people don't like it when you hold their money against their will because in the end, they're going to show you what they're going to do once you let go of that money that you've been holding on for so long. And that's right here evident here 42 percent down is because they're taking what they can get out of it you know so wow 42 percent down and 44 percent for the month it's only been out two weeks so and still way down no way this will ever be like hex no way all right um but yeah so that's pulse chain there this big disappointment, you know, and, uh, let's see here. So it's up one and a half X from sacrifice. Okay. whoop de do. Uh, congratulations. If you sell right now, you'll make one and a half more, uh, you know, X from sacrifice. Congratulations. PLS or the PLS X. All right. The second sacrifice here. Oh, let's see. It's down 7.8%. And it's up a half, half a X, not one X, but just a half a X from sacrifice, but down 7.8%. And so, uh, oh, let me refresh this. I don't think it's been refreshed. That's not an accurate hex price. There we go. All right, now, now that's the real hex price there. 7.8% uh, from... Uh, was past day and uh it's it's up uh 0.62 about a half x from sacrifice congratulations and this thing's down to a penny penny and a half <laughs> and so um yeah so what, what was i saying oh yes um big disappointment here and, uh, you know, I know they're going to be some excuses, you know, they're going to say this and this and this. And the fact of the matter is, um, this is what is, uh, proof in the pudding that people don't like it when you hold their money. And so this is what happens when you hold their money. They're going to sell the shit out of it. Pulse chain is a faster, cheaper fork of Ethereum. Ah, slightly cheaper. I mean, there was a clog artery of, uh, you know, the bridge, right? That whole bridge conspiracy because too many people are getting on the bridge, right? And the bridge is overloaded. And so it's clogged right now trying to get to the other side. And then look what happens. I guess it's, it's, it's letting up a little bit, right? And then uh, all I got to say is it's funny how it took so long to fork Binance, right? But it was so quick out the gate when they forked Ethereum. And so, you know, to me, either it's difficult to fork Binance, which it probably isn't because so many projects come out. And um, and we've seen numerous forks of, of Binance, right? The elephant monies and all that stuff in the world. 
and others. But yet, this one couldn't be pulled off to where it could be a reality for one whatever reason or another for Dick to put it back on Ethereum and fork that and then all of a sudden bam bam thank you ma'am launched it super quick so again here's here's two theories to that one he's just tired of this shit he wants to just unload this thing be like I, I want this out of my hands I'm tired uh, of this and tired of that and I'm just done with this shit, you know, I want it out of here. And so he just said, fuck it, I'm 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 just I'm just putting it out there now. And that's why he forked it off ETH and just threw it out there. Well I don't know why he couldn't do that with Binance, right? Uh, but whatever. And uh, but then to me what was the point of of uh trying to say you're trying to find a better alternative, cheaper alternative to Ethereum if you're just launching off of Ethereum to me yeah, you might save a little bit. Yeah, it might be slightly faster. But it, it really hasn't... It's not a game changer. And and uh, just because it's going by name. All right. Oh, shit. It's Richard Hart's project. Oh, my gosh. All right. I mean, that's it. And so... Um, and I bet... And I don't care what anybody says. Many projects that were waiting for Pulse Chain... Did not anticipate the you know this going back to ETH, all right? Because uh, they're expecting it to be off the Binance Smart Chain fork, all right. Many of these projects were, and you can't say that they weren't, all right. And people will probably deny that, even the ones that are trying to that were holding out on their projects, because now it's back to the drawing board for them as well, because they weren't expecting them to go back to ETH, all right? So, the whole idea of finding an ETH alternative this whole time, back in the days of the high gas prices of Ethereum, to let's go to Binance Smart Chain, and then, oh shit, let's do Pulse Chain. This is going to be even better than Binance Smart Chain, and yet this disappointment comes about. I mean, come on. So you're telling me that all this stuff is only 17% faster Oh my gosh, man, and oh man, improved game theory, that's it? I mean, so I so I wasted time waiting two years, well not me really, but I'm just speaking for you guys. I wasted time, you know, for two years just for an ETH fork. I mean, when you really boil it down to that, that's what it, it really is. And so, uh, man, all I got to say is such a disappointment. Uh, let's check out Zen. Because this was another waste of time, right? It's down 1.44% for the day. Uh, it's being dumped the shit out of them. 25% for the week. Uh, and this is another useless piece of shit, uh, you know, token here. Uh, say what you want to say, but, I mean, it's true. Uh, let's see here. What happened? They removed themselves off? I mean, CoinGecko doesn't want to... to uh, show their numbers anymore what's up with that wow that's coin gecko here that's weird uh, but yeah so this piece of shit really has no use case all right they have a growing supply of over 10.2 trillion and and growing can't stop the minting because people are just going to mint away and so all this when you really think about it has all been a waste of time <laughs> you wasted two plus years for something that could have just been done right away for trying to fork Ethereum. Um, Hex is now useless. Zen is useless. Everything is about it is useless. I mean, when you really think about it, uh, you, you better just hope that the stuff that's supposed to come to Pulse Chain uh, will help recover and help, uh, you know, boost this you know, piece of shit. That's what it really is. And so, it's funny. Uh, I'm just waiting to hear the excuses now. Like, what's next here? But I just think, Richard, I'm, I'm just done with this. I'm, I'm going to just put it out there. I'm done. You know, I'm tired of this. You know, and so, he's ready to move on to. And so, yeah, welcome to reality. This stuff is garbage. And I just want to say, 
wham, bam, and uh, no thank you, man. I'll see you in the next one.